Modern defense systems have led nations to develop sophisticated technology that is capable of safeguarding their interests and defending their territories from a number of threats. To enhance security and ensure national defense, modern defense systems incorporate advanced technology and cutting-edge strategies. A world-class missile defense system, the Panzer is renowned for its exceptional capabilities and unrivaled performance on the battlefield, showcasing Russia's technological superiority. A question arises, how powerful are Russia's Panzer missile defenses system? The development of the Panzer missile system project was undertaken by the Russian defense company KBP Instrument Design Bureau, with the goal of creating a modern and highly capable short-to-medium-range air defense system. It was designed as a replacement for the aging OSA AKM and Tunguska M1 air defense systems to introduce new and advanced capability to defend Russia ground forces. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 brought about significant changes and requirements for the Panzer missile system. A significant aspect of the research involved integrating surface-to-air missiles and anti-aircraft guns into a single platform. This required detailed research on missile guidance systems, including target detection, tracking, and engagement algorithms. A testament to Russian engineering and ingenuity, the Panzer missile system paved the way for a formidable air defense system that would serve as a protection for Russian ground forces and fortify the nation's airspace for years to come. This remarkable tale of evolution and perseverance led to the development of the Panzer missile system. Overview Radar system The first finished version was completed in 1995 with the 1L36 radar, later another was designed. For its main radar station, early detection in height may be between 0 to 60 degrees or 26 to 82 degrees depending on the mode. The system is claimed to have significant advantages over other systems, such as Crotail NG, France, Roland 3, France and Germany, Rapier 2000, UK. In 2013, there was a variant with two radar stations for early detection, standing back to back. The system has a modular structure which enables a fast and easy replacement of any part. The system is equipped with a multifunction phased array radar that provides target detection, tracking, and fire control capabilities. It has a range of approximately 30 to 40 kilometers. Warheads and range. The Panzer missiles typically employ high explosive fragmentation warheads. These warheads are designed to produce a lethal combination of blast and fragmentation effect upon detonation. The range of the Panzer missiles can also vary depending on the specific variant and configuration. The standard range of the Panzer S1 system is approximately 20 km for engaging aerial targets. Armament the Panzer missile system incorporates a combination of armaments to engage and neutralize aerial threats. The Panzer system is equipped with surface-to-air missiles that are vertically launched from sealed ready-to-launch containers. The number of missiles carried by the system can vary, but typically it includes 12 surface-to-air missiles. The Panzer system features two dual-feed 30mm automatic cannons. These cannons are effective against low-flying targets, such as UAVs or helicopters, and provide a close-in defense capability. The cannons are capable of firing up to 2,500 rounds per minute. Versions Panzer S1 Panzer M, EM Panzer S2, S2E Panzer SM 
mobility. The Pantsir missile system is designed with mobility in mind, allowing it to be rapidly deployed and maneuvered across different terrains. The Pantsir system is mounted on a wheel chassis, typically an 8x8 truck or a similar vehicle platform. The Pantsir system is designed to be transportable by various means, including air, rail, and sea. Russia and Ukraine War In Ukraine, the Pantsir S-1 has been used to defend Russian forces against Ukrainian attacks, however, the system has also been reportedly destroyed by Ukrainian forces on several occasions. In March 2022, for example, a Pantsir S-1 system was destroyed by Ukrainian forces near the city of Kherson. In May 2022, another Pantsir S-1 system was destroyed near the city of Mariupol. The destruction of Pantsir S-1 systems by Ukrainian forces is a sign that the system is not as invincible as was once thought. However, the Pantsir S-1 remains a potent air defense system, and it is likely to continue to be used by both Russia and Ukraine in the ongoing war. The Pantsir S-1 is a powerful air defense system, but it is not invincible. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe to our channel.